Hi, my name is Hazel and I run Chewing Sand. Today we're going to talk about defining success with YouTube Analytics. It's funny because a lot of YouTubers define success as views or subscribers gained from a video, but I tend to kind of look at different metrics. What's really important to me is that the feedback be good and that the likes on the video be very high. So that's the kind of thing that I focus on. If I have a video that only has 20,000 views, I don't get particularly sad about that um, because often I'll have maybe 1,000 to 2,000 likes on that, which is for me quite a high percentage. Um, and what I'll also do is spend a lot of time in the comments replying to people and seeing what they think of it, asking for their feedback even. And if that feedback is positive, I think that that's kind of the biggest measure of success for me. The demographics report in analytics is really important for me, particularly when dealing with, say, brands or other YouTubers who you want to collaborate with. It's good to be able to let them know who your audience are and for you to know as well so that you can cater to them. But I found when using the report after I made Super Brainy Zombies that actually my audience shifted a little bit. It used to be predominantly females and still is, but it was around 90% female before, and after the film came out, it's now about 80% female, 20% male, which is interesting. I try and kind of experiment on my channel and do lots of different things, and usually that's just whatever I happen to be into at the time. So because I'm interested in films, I did try and do a couple of film reviews, but they didn't go down that well. I noticed that while the views were okay, the like ratio was a lot lower on them than it was on my other videos, so I thought, my audience aren't really into this and I sort of stopped doing those. Similarly with other content like my songs, I noticed that the likes were very high on them or my first Unnecessary Otter sketch, which was a comedy sketch, got a huge like ratio. So that's a series that I continued doing. So when I upload a video, I always have a look at how many likes there are compared to how many views. And what I'm hoping for is at least 10% likes versus views. So if I have 10,000 views, I'd like to see around 1,000 likes on a video. And if I'm doing better than that, then it's a really good sign on my videos because the average is around 10%. I hope you found that helpful. You can click to learn more, or if you want to check out Chewing Sand, you can do that too.